Baruch chapter 4 verse 1. And it reads, This is the book of the commandments of the Most High, and the law that endureth forever. All that keep it shall come to life, but such as leave it shall die. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostles slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, the one that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere Akims. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith, regardless of people here for a bear. Look, look, the laws are not done away with, okay? The Lord didn't change. These words last forever, man. All right, you got these heathens talking about the laws are done away with. You can be who you are. You can love who you want to love. <clears throat> you can come as you are. You can eat whatever you want to eat. Oh, of, of course, these heathens are going to say that. They're not Israelites. And you got the Israelites, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans still listening to this plantation doctrine. You see? This nonsense. So we can just live your life. Be free. Do as the Romans do. Come, look, come as you are. It don't, it don't matter who you love. You just, just love anybody. You can love a dog. You know what I'm saying? You can love a... You, 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 and I'm trying to be PG with this. You understand what I'm saying through the spirit, Israel. You can't do whatever you want to do. We got guidelines. We got standards, man. All right? We got laws, statutes, commandments of the Bible that we need to rehearse to the best of our abilities. Going right back to what? What is that? Numbers? What is that? Numbers? I, I try to get that too. We'll, we'll, we'll see if we can get that. Let's get this though. This, this, what is that? We'll, we'll find it. We'll find it. Let's get this. Baruch chapter 4 verse 1 again. The Bible, man. All right? This is the commandments of the Most High. This is the book. The Bible. The King James Version. The B-I-B-L-E, right? Because I was just looking at, um, watching the news. I'm saying you got the Lieutenant Governor for North Carolina. You know what I'm saying? He's against the alphabet people, you know what I'm saying, um, promoting that nonsense in the schools. To the children, to the youth, to our sons and our daughters, man. That's why the scripture say, woe unto Babylon, that, that wicked, sinful kingdom. It is all full of lies and robbery, man. This is a wicked, foul place, man. And it pushes his philosophies and his dogma, you know what I'm saying, his democracy throughout the four corners of the earth, man. You see? And the Lord is about, the Lord has been tired of it. I was going to say he's about tired of it. He's, he been tired of it, man. The sins of this place has reached up into the heavens, man. That's why the scripture said, who shall rise up against, who shall rise up for me against the evildoers, man. These people are wicked. And anytime you come against wickedness, look, with the Bible, your video gets shut down, but the hell with all that, Baruch. Cry aloud, spare not. Lift up thy voice. Going right back to Isaiah 50, what? 50, um, 8 and 1. Cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgressions in the house of Jacob their sins. So this word is only for Israel. You heathens, y'all can do whatever the hell y'all want to do, man. You see? Y'all can carpet much all you want to, you know what I'm saying? You know, you can peanut butter chase all you want to. This one is for the Israelites. Baruch 4 and 1. This is the book of the commandments of the Most High, the Bible, right? They're in church week in and week out with a Bible the size of a Cadillac, you know what I'm saying? But they don't follow none of the laws in it, none of the statutes. And the law that endured forever, but you got the pastor talking about the laws are done away with. All the laws are done away with according to the pastor, except when it comes to paying tithes. That's how you know he's an hypocrite. He's an actor. But when it comes to all the laws are done away with, right, Israel? Except for when it's time to pass out that money, pass that plate around. He's big when it comes to cash, um, um, grabbing your money, receiving that money from you. But that's part of the law too. Paying tights, but which which one is it? the law is either done away with or it ain't. Which one is it, man? It says right here, and the law that endure forever, all they that keep it shall come to life, meaning you're gonna live. The Lord is gonna quicken you. But such as leave it shall die. And that's plain. So the majority of our people are being led to the slaughter, man. The majority of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you're being led to the slaughter, man. You see, look, look, and look, and you, you don't even know it, man. You don't even know it, but let's get this, though. Dude, quick, look, quick little hit, man. I, I watch that news. I'm, 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 I'm at home now. And I'm watching the news, right? And they're going, they going, I mean, it's all, um, come on, man. Well, it's, it's all witchcraft anyway. Look, look, we're not ignorant of Satan devices. It's just the point, man. 
Everybody pushing. You can love who you want to love. Look, look. The laws are done away with. The Lord will forgive you for everything. Come on, man. That's confusion right there, man. First Corinthians chapter 14. Let's blow it up some. Everything I'm reading is coming straight out of the Bible. You see? First Corinthians chapter 14, verse 33. Bear with me. Nothing rehearsed. I just want, I had a lesson already prepared, but then the Lord was like, nah, get this done first. You get this done first, and then after that, you get whatever I want you to get. Look, no such thing as free will, all right? Listen, for the Most High is not the author of confusion. But that's what these people are pushing. They push confusion, man. Man with man, woman with woman, man with dog. Come on, man. It's confusion, man. Oh, yeah, it's all good. Just, you know, just go on and just cut it off. You know what I'm saying? You, you, the Lord will love you. For the most size, not the author of confusion, man. All right? But, the, but this place is Babylon. Babylon. That's what the word Babylon means. Confusion, man. You don't know who is who nowadays, man. You got you, you to start asking for birth certificates. But then that don't even work no more. Because the birth certificates, they got changed up, man. For the most high is not the author of confusion, but of peace. That's why the Lord is ready to come and shut this place down, man. All right? Wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth. We're going to get that too. For the most high is not the author of confusion. The most high, Yahweh, is not the author of confusion. All remember, on um, what is it, Psalms 18 and 30? All the ways of the most high are perfect, not you heathens, man. You got wicked, wicked decrees and wicked laws, man. But of peace, as in all churches of the saints. But what are they bringing into these churches? Confusion, man. Confusion. That's all they bringing into these churches is no, nothing but confusion, man. You know? Let's get this though. Look at let's get Psalms because these heathen enough. y'all ain't got nothing to do with this word. You see? You heathens, you not Israelites, y'all ain't got nothing to do with this word, man. Let the real men of the Lord teach the Bible. And y'all just shut the hell up, man. And the Lord gonna stop y'all mouth anyway. The Lord said, lying lips is but for a moment. But they that deal truly shall be established. Psalms chapter 50. Psalm chapter 50, verse 16. And it reads, But unto the wicked sleaze and eat. Esau eat them, the Edomites. The Most High Yahweh saith, "What has thou to do to declare my statute? What are you doing with the Bible in your hand? You do, you, you are the wicked of the earth, man. All right, the Most High is not in all your thoughts, but you walking around with the Bible, with the words of the Most High, man. Like you're a righteous, you know what I'm saying? Like you're a true believer. Come on, man, you're the devil, man. You're the deceiver, man. That's what the word the devil means, deceiver, right? But unto the wicked." Sleazy Esau eat him. And then like the scripture say, the righteous is more excellent than his neighbor, which we're the righteous. We was created to be that righteous nation, us Israelites, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, right? But the ways of the wicked, sleazy eat, but the ways of the wicked have seduced them, man. All right? But the most I said right here, but unto the wicked, the most I said, what has thou to do to declare my statues, man? Or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth, man. Like you can tell the Lord what, what's done away with and what, what, what he still um, allows and what he don't allow. It's written what he accepts and what he don't accept. Once again, he's not the author of confusion, man. And look at that. Five teams killed and crashed. It's going down, man. Nobody perished being innocent, man. Got, got five teens, you know what I'm saying, that died, you know what I'm saying, either today or yesterday in a car crash. The, the Lord getting his number, man. And you wicked Israelites, you know what I'm saying, is still following the wicked and joining hand with this wicked man's agenda. The Lord said you're going to go down with him, man. You see? Listen, look, 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 look. See as thou hatest instructions and cast of my words behind thee. You see? This devil hated for instructions. And you can throw our people in there too. They hate instructions too, man. This devil ain't taking heed to the warnings of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh. This man is poison the air, the water, everything. The minds of our people with this nonsense, with this plantation Christianity doctrine, which is full of nonsense and cast up my word behind thee. Look what they do when they go to court. They have you swear on the Bible when the scripture tell you clearly not to swear on the Bible. Clearly, it tells you not to swear on the Bible. Well, that dude, how you swear on the Bible, then he take the Bible, put it behind you, and then he pull out his own penal code. This is a true devil, man. You see? This is a true devil, man. You see? The laws, are, the laws will never be done away with. Let's, let's see what else we got, man. The Romans. I'm, I'm, and I'm about to wrap it up, too. 
I'm, I'm about to wrap it up, man. Just proving according to the Bible, you know what I'm saying? Look, look, the laws will never be done away with, right? Oh, y'all got to get that Judges 5 and 11 because we, we, we're not perfect, but we got to strive for perfection. The law is not done away with just because we up under grace, man. All right? This is Romans chapter 7, Salakia. Romans chapter 7. We'll start at 1. Look, come straight out the Bible every time. Know ye not, brethren, for I speak to them that know the law. How that the law that you say done away with, right? How that the law have dominion over a man as long as he liveth, man. All right. So the law ain't going to never be done away with, man. Even in the kingdom, the law is going to be um, established, man. You know, it's going to be in our inward parts. We'll never go off again. But you heathens are going to have to follow our laws, man. Where the laws are, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You see? The laws of the Bible. And once you get out of line, the hammer going to come down. Judgment going to come down. You're going to get judged according to the Bible. What are you talking about? Once again, Romans chapter 7, verse 1. Know ye not, brethren, for I speak to them that know the law, how that the law have dominion over a man as long as he liveth, man. And you people despise the words of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, right? You see? This word is not for you heathens anyway, man. Let's get let's get second Ezra's right quick. You ain't alone, and I'm about, I'm about to wrap it up, man. I just seen that on TV, and I'm like, yo, what the hell? The hell is going on, man? This plantation, Christianity, you Christians are through too, man. All right? The Lord gonna shut all you Christians down, man. Second Ezra chapter 3. Second Ezra chapter 3. Listen to this. Second Ezra chapter 3. Verse 36, thou shalt find that Israel, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, remember I made a statement through the spirit that you heathens can do whatever the hell you want to. The Lord don't care about y'all. You see, Th this word was given to Israel. It it you Israelites, look, look, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, get out of that plantation Christianity, man. Come out of that church, man. You you been fed lies long enough, man. Come on back home, man. Come look, the truth shall set you free, right? Thou shalt find, thou shalt find that Israel, Yasha Allah, Prince of the Power, by name have kept thy precepts, that thy laws, right? Look, but not the heathen. Do, 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 Israel, do you do you see that Israel? This word ain't for everybody. Tell me the words of the Lord is for everybody. No, it's for you, not the heathen, man. Thou shalt find that Israel, by name, have kept thy precepts. But not the heathen, because the Lord didn't give his word to the heathen, man. So, of course, the heathen's going to push that nonsense agenda. Of course, they're going to push it, man. These heathen want you dead anyway. They want, they want the Lord to kill you anyway. Let's get this right quick. Heathen ain't got nothing to do with that. The Lord said, what has thou, the wicked, had to do with my words? Since thou hidest them behind that back. Come on, man. Come on, man. Israel should know but Stop following these heathens, man. Talk to, talk to uh, the Lord knows that allows you to celebrate Christmas, Thanksgiving, Halloween. You got Israel. Look, the church is pushing Halloween, Israel. You had the church house pushing Halloween, man. Psalm chapter 10. Let's see. Psalm chapter 10. We we'll started four. The wicked, sleazy eat Esau Edom, man. Through the pride, starting off with the elite banking families, through the pride of his countenance. He, he's very prideful. You see him walking around with that arrogant, pompous spirit with his head all up in the air, red ass neck, you no know saying, will not seek after the most high. They're not searching for Yahweh Bashim Yahushua. They're not, they're not inquiring of the Lord. You see? They will not seek after the most high. Yahweh Bashim Yahushua is not in all their thoughts, man. Okay? That ain't even the last thing that these heathens are thinking about, man. Plus, the Lord gave them idols. Look at Colin Powell. He threw already. Yellow ass T. Look at Colin Powell. You know what I'm saying? He followed after these heathens too, man. Remembering Colin Powell. He threw T H R U U U, man. It says some gonna come back to everlasting life. You know what I'm saying? And some gonna come back to shame, man. You see? Colin Powell gonna come back in the kingdom with his head down, man. He gonna be ashamed, you know what I'm saying, for following after these heathens, man. The most high is not in all their thoughts, man. You see? What else, man? What else, man? Let's, let, matter of fact, let's get, let's get one of the laws. Let's go to Leviticus right quick. Let's go to Leviticus right quick. I ain't gonna really go, go deep into it. Let's get it though, right quick. Look, this, this is the Bible too. So I don't want to hear that nonsense. It's coming straight out of the Bible. Leviticus chapter 20. You see it. 
Leviticus chapter 20. And I'm going to just read it and leave it at that, man. Leviticus chapter 20, verse 13. If a man also lies with mankind. Remember, the laws have dominion over man as long as he lives. Remember Baruch 4, rewind the video. Remember Baruch the fourth chapter? You know what I'm saying? What did Baruch the fourth chapter tell us? It says, the, the book of the law that endureth forever, right? All they that keep it shall come to life, but such as leave it shall die. You know, the wages of sin is death. We're going to prove what sin is. If a man also lie with mankind as he lie with womankind, two men, two women lying together, both of them have committed an abomination. What's an abomination? A wicked filthy act. Look, look, they, look, this is a law of the Bible. You look, and the law endure forever. This is going to be the judgment soon come. Y'all forgot about Sodom and Gomorrah, right? All that was written for an example, man, of how not to rule a kingdom, man. But, but once again, the, the wicked has nothing to do with our word, man. All right? The wicked, so, so, so when we see the wicked promoting and pushing this nonsense, we say that's his job. You can't make some straight which the Lord made crooked, right? They shall surely be put to death. Death. Their blood shall be upon them. Let's jump down to 15 because I ain't going to stay on this too long. And if a man lie with a beast, meaning an animal, you see, he shall surely be put to death and ye shall slay the beast. And you hear the ambulance passing by anyway, man. You see? And listen to this. It says, for a man and a good woman. And if a woman approach unto a beast, a filthy animal, and lie down there too, thou shalt kill the woman. You see, see, see the Bible, I'm saying, gets real explicit. The, the Lord is straightforward, black and white, man. Okay? Because gray, you know what I'm saying, um, um, pretty much bring forth confusion. Thou shalt kill the woman and the beast. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them, man. All right? And, and that's plain, man. And that's what the lieutenant um, governor was getting going into. How, how, how that, but look, they hate the word, man. These heathens have nothing to do with our word, Israel. Get away from them before you receive their judgment, man. All right? And you got the pastors in these churches, you know what I'm saying, promoting that nonsense. Back, back to Psalms. Back to Psalms. Psalms, um, this just prove, I'm just proving that the word is for Israel. It's for you, Israel. You take heed. The hell with these heathens. The heathens, the heathens going to be wicked anyway. Psalms 147. Psalms 147 and 19. He showed off his word unto Jacob. The word, the, lot of, the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures is, is for us. All right? The Lord showed off his word unto Jacob. The heathens, Jacob. Everybody, Jacob. Esau, Jacob. Moab, Jacob. Ishmael, Jacob. Jacob, Jacob. Ham, Jacob. He showed his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgment unto Israel, a people before us a place. Once again, like we read earlier, what has the wicked to do to declare my statutes? What are you doing? And the phone chimed in. What are you doing with the sleazy eat? What are you doing with the Bible in your hand? You see? Matter of fact, just hold on for a minute. Hold on, Israel. Hold on. Look, look read, reading on it. And, and I got that scripture too. Psalms 147 and 20. He have not dealt so with any nation. When it comes to this word, the Lord ain't dealing with you heathens, man. All right? He have not dealt so with any nation. And as far as his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord. Because the word was given to us, man. It says, Israel have kept thy precept, a.k.a. his laws, but not the heathens, man. Now, let's get this right quick. Because this devil make you swear on the Bible. No, I'm saying you only supposed to do that, man. All right? Swearing is pretty much making an oath, man. Making a promise you can't keep. This is St. Matthew chapter 5. You see it. And the Lord is pissed the hell off right now too. St. Matthew chapter 5. Let's see. St. Matthew chapter 5. Verse, um, let's see. Listen to this. 34. But I say unto you, swear not at all. But this man make you hold up your hand to him some swear on the Bible. What? But I say unto you, this red letter too. Lord Yahweh shall speak of who they even call Jesus. You, you, would, you would think he would know, right? Whether we should swear on the Bible or not, right? He, he would know, right? But I say unto you, swear not at all, man. Neither by heaven, for it is the Most High's throne, man. So we're not supposed to be swearing on the Bible, man. All right? Or swearing at all, man. You see? I, I put this on my brother. I put that on my mother and all that other nonsense. When people get ready to say that, I say, man, hold on, man. You got to do all that. 
You ain't got to do all that. Please don't, don't do that. You know what I'm saying? I'd be wise with it. But at the same time, man, come on, man. Been tired of this place, man. You, you Israelites going to learn, man. The, the Lord going to get you, you plantation Christians, man. You see? Lying to people, man. Pushing a false narrative. Pushing a false doctrine, man. All right? Let's get one more and I'm going to wrap it up. Just, look, look, I, I, look, I brung out the law. You know what I'm saying? I brung out the law. You saw what the law said. Proverbs chapter 13. I brung out the law. You saw what the law said. Proverbs 13. Let's see. Proverbs chapter 13 and 13. Whoso despises the law. That, that Look, they hate the law. That's what the word despise means. Whoso despises the word. A.K.A. the law, statutes, commandments of this Bible shall be destroyed, man. But he that feared the commandments shall be rewarded, man. All right? Remember, it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. Now, when you bring out, you know what I'm saying, many scriptures that tell you, you know what I'm saying, that prove according to the Bible that the laws are not done away with. They endure forever. Remember, the wages of sin is death. And what is sin? Transgression of the law. I get one. I quoted this, so let's get it right quick. Isaiah, Salakia. It's going to get it before I wrap it up. I got another lesson, Lord willing, prepared to the spirit you have about Shemar Shai, so stay tuned for that. The Lord wanted me to do this first, though. Isaiah chapter 58. The Lord don't give a damn. Cry loud, spare not. Isaiah 58 and 1. Cry loud, spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. And show my people their transgressions. According to the Bible, we tell you where you where you going off at. Just like somebody told us where we was going off at, man. And the house of Jacob, their sins, man. And what is sin? Transgression of the law. And it says the wages of sin is death, man. So go through the book of Leviticus. You know what I'm saying? And, many, and look, pretty much the Bible is um, a book full of laws, statutes, and commandments, man. You see? Matter of fact, I did, I did say I wanted to get that judges right quick. Let's get that judges right quick. And I'm going to end off on this. Keep doing You plantation Christianity is nonsense. You Christians are through, man. All right? Yeah, you got, you got women pastors running their mouth. Judges 5 and 11. You got heathen women running their mouth, man. You know what I'm saying? Trying to tell Israel, you know what I'm saying, that the Lord, you know what I'm saying, accepts everybody. Now, it don't say that, man. All right? Oh, what was that? And look, we're going to get there. The fear of the Lord is the first steps of being accepted of him. Not being rebellious, man. But look, we're going to see if we can get that. Judges chapter 5, verse 11. And it reads, They that are delivered from the noise of the archers in the place of drawing waters. Look, look. They that are delivered from the noise of the archers representing the missiles. The missiles hitting this place. In the place of drawing water. The drawing water represents um, pretty much servitude, to slavery. Look, look. There. You know what I'm saying? The ones that's going to be delivered, there. The Hebrew Israelites, the elect, that small remnant, there shall they rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord. So we're supposed to rehearse the righteous acts. The law is done away with. The scriptures say, should we, should we do away with the law because we're up under grace? The most I forbid, we establish the law. The, the plantation Christians say the law is done away with. But look, that pastor want that money though, don't he? Ask him that. Ask the next time you go to church, Israel. Ask the pastor why he want the money. You no, know, say if the law is done away with the um, paying tithes is part of the law. Ask him why he say the law is done away with. But he asking you for money every time you step through that door, man. There shall they rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord, even the righteous acts toward the inhabitants of his villages in Israel. Then shall the people of the Lord go down to the gates, man. All right? So let's get this last one. Let's get this last one. Let's get Sirach. Get this last one, Sirach. Chapter 19. I'm going to end it on this, man. I'm not even going to, you know. Sirach chapter 19. That's, that's, why, that's why we can't wait for a new heaven and a new earth which dwell for righteousness, man. You see, instead of being in this wicked ass place, Sirach chapter 19, verse 18. And it reads, you remember, remember, you, you remember the um, plantation Christian said the Lord accepts everybody, right? He, he accepts everybody, right? You can come how you want to come, right? Listen to this. Sirach chapter 19, verse 18. The fear of the Lord. You fearing the Lord is the first step to be accepted of him. So the Lord only accepts those that fear him. 
You, you you didn't know that was there though, huh? You, you didn't think you didn't think the Lord was gonna pull that one out of that bag, huh? The Lord went in his bag on that one right there, man. All right, the Lord went dead in his bag like a blackout and pulled it on out, man. The fear of the Lord, Yahweh by Shemiah Shai, is the first step to be accepted of him. Yeah, fearing the Lord, man, is is the first steps of being accepted of him. Part of that, don't you get, man? And wisdom obtained his love, man. All right? And wisdom obtaining his love. Listen to this. Verse 19. The knowledge of the commandments of the Lord is the doctrine of life. So you're truly not. If you're not taking heed to this word, you're, you're, you're dead really. You see? They that wander out of the way of understanding, which is the scriptures, shall remain in the congregation of the dead men. So anybody that ain't taking heed to these words, you, you, you're really dead, man. All right? This is the doctrine of life. And they that do things that please him shall receive the fruit of the tree of immortality, man. All right? Just if you're doing the things that are pleasing. Can, can, you, can you plantation Christians honestly say that you're doing the things that are pleasing unto the God of the Bible? Yahweh by Shem Yahweh, the Lord was a papa right now. Just pop up right now. Do you, do you really feel in your heart, meaning in your mind, you know what I'm saying, that he, he would accept you? You ask yourself that, man. Shalom.